I went back in time and removed Mercedes from the history books in 2014 to see what would have happened if they didn't exist. Will Vettel win a fifth straight world championship or will someone else achieve greatness? My name is Chris, welcome back to CF Racing and enjoy the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another CF Racing video. Today everybody, I will be retallying all of the points in all 19 races and 2014 to see how the season would have ended up and who would have ended up winning the championship without Mercedes. If you guys are new here and you enjoy the content from me, then please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. And in the first race of the season, in his first race of his career, Kevin Magnussen would win the Australian Grand Prix taking a 1-2 for McLaren, which is something you guys probably wouldn't think of would have, be happening in 2014. In P3, we have Alonso, followed by Bottas, Hulkenberg, Kimi Raikkonen, jean eric Verne, Danny Kvyat, Sergio Perez, and Adrian Sutil. Or Sutil, I don't really know how to say his last name, but guys, Kevin Magnussen wins his first ever Formula 1 race, which... I don't think anybody has ever done before, so congratulations, Kevin Magnussen. Might be the only time he won a race in this simulation, or, well, this redo or something, but good job, Kevin. And the fastest lap point goes to Valtteri Bottas. In race two, Sebastian Vettel takes the win in Malaysia. Nice win for him. In P2, we have Fernando Alonso. And in P3, you guys are going to absolutely love to see this, but Nico Hulkenberg takes his first ever podium in Formula 1 in the 2014 Malaysian Grand Prix. He probably would have had some earlier if I redo 2010 to 2013, but hey, we got Nico Hulkenberg on the podium, so I'm sure none of you guys are complaining. Jensen Button finishes P2, followed by Massa, Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, Danny Kvyat, Roman Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and the fastest lap point goes to Fernando Alonso. In race three in Bahrain, Sergio Perez takes his first ever Formula One victory for Force India. Congratulations for them. In P2, we have Daniel Ricciardo, Nico Hulkenberg, Sebastian Vettel, Felipe Massa, Valtteri Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, Danny Kvyat, Roman Grosjean, and Nico Hulkenberg gets his second podium in a row and a fastest lap to a nice 16 point swing. Race four in China has Fernando Alonso taking the win and his first win of the season for Ferrari. In P2, we have Daniel Ricciardo followed by Sebastian Vettel, Nico Hulkenberg in fourth, followed by Valtteri Bottas, Kimi Raikkonen, Sergio Perez, Danny Kvyat, Jensen Button, jean Eric Verne, and Daniel Ricciardo ends up with the fastest lap. Great race for Ferrari here, by the way, as you guys know, I'm a biased Ferrari fan. In race five in Spain, Daniel Ricciardo takes his first win of the season, and he leads a Red Bull 1-2 with Sebastian Vettel finishing in P2, Valtteri Bottas finishing in P3, Fernando Alonso P4, followed by Kimi Raikkonen, Roman Grosjean, Sergio Perez, Nico Hulkenberg, Jensen Button, Kevin Magnussen, and Sebastian Vettel takes the fastest lap. In race six, we have back-to-back -back victories for Daniel Ricciardo, and he takes his first ever Monaco Grand Prix victory. Good for him. He is followed by Fernando Alonso in second place, and Nico Hulkenberg taking a third podium of the season. He is doing very well so far. Jensen Button finishes in P4, followed by Massa, Roman Grosjean. Jules Bianchi taking six points in Monaco is very impressive. Kevin Magnussen, Marcus Erickson taking two points in... Uh, Monaco is also very impressive. Kimi Raikkonen and also Kimi Raikkonen gets the fastest lap. In race 7 in Canada, Daniel Ricciardo takes another victory, leading another Red Bull 1-2 with Sebastian Vettel finishing in P2. Jensen Button finishing in P3, followed by Nico Hülkenberg, Fernando Alonso, Valtteri Bottas, jean eric Verne performing really well, Kevin Magnussen, Kimi Raikkonen, Sergio Perez, and the fastest lap point goes to Felipe Massa. In race 8 in Austria, we have Valtteri Bottas taking his first ever win as a Formula One driver, and this is for Williams. They haven't won a race since, I believe it was the GOAT Pastor Maldonado taking a win. I think that was 2012, so good for him. In P2, we have Felipe Massa, so this rounds up a Williams 1-2, which hasn't happened in a while. Fernando Alonso in P3, followed by Sergio Perez, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Ricciardo, Nico Hulkenberg, 
Kimi Raikkonen, Jensen Button, the GOAT Pastor Maldonado, and the fastest lap point goes to Sergio Perez. In race 9, Valtteri Bottas takes a back-to-back -back victory, actually winning the British Grand Prix at Silverstone, taking another 25 points. Daniel Ricciardo finishes P2, Jensen Button taking P3, followed by Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Kevin Magnussen, Danny Kvyat, Jean-Éric Verne, Sergio Perez, Roman Grosjean, and the fastest lap point goes to Sebastian Vettel. In race 10, Valtteri takes his third consecutive victory in Germany, taking 25 more points because we get for a win, followed by Sebastian Vettel in P2, Fernando Alonso P3, Daniel Ricciardo P4, Nico Hülkenberg, Jensen Button, Kevin Magnussen, Sergio Perez, Kimi Räikkönen, Pastor Maldonado the GOAT, and the fastest lap point goes to Kevin Magnussen. In race 11 in Hungary, Daniel Ricciardo takes another victory on the season, followed by Fernando Alonso and Felipe Massa to round out the podium. Kimi Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, Jean-Eric Verne, Jensen Button, Adrian Sutil, Kevin Magnussen, and Daniel Ricciardo gets the fastest lap, taking one point, which I believe this is the first 26-point weekend of the season, so congratulations, Daniel Ricciardo. In race 12 at Spa, Daniel Ricciardo takes back-to-back -back victories, followed by Valtteri Bottas in P2 and Kimi Raikkonen in P3 taking his first podium of the season, which, I mean, that's pretty sad for Ferrari, not gonna lie. Sebastian Vettel finishes P4, followed by Jensen Button, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, Danny Kvyat, Nico Hülkenberg, Jean-Eric Verne, and the fastest lap goes to Adrian Sutil. In race 13 in Italy, Felipe Massa wins the Italian Grand Prix. It's something that Ferrari fans probably wanted for so long, but he ended up doing it with Williams, so congratulations, Felipe. I'm sure he got a massive standing ovation. In P2, we have Valtteri Bottas taking a, rounding out another Williams 1-2. Congratulations to them. And Daniel Ricciardo finishes in P3. Sebastian Vettel, P4, followed by Sergio Perez, Jensen Button, Kimi Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, Danny Kvyat, Nico Hülkenberg, and the fastest lap point actually went to Felipe Massa. In race 14 in Singapore, Sebastian Vettel takes another victory and another victory at Singapore. He is the lion of Singapore. In P2, we have Daniel Ricciardo, followed by Fernando Alonso, Felipe Massa in P4, Jean-Eric Verne, followed by Sergio Perez, Kimi Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, the GOAT Pastor Maldonado, and Kevin Magnussen nips the fastest lap point. Race 15 in Japan also goes to Sebastian Vettel, taking back-to-back -back victories, probably first time since 2013, followed by Daniel Ricciardo in P2 and Jensen Button in P3, Valtteri Bottas in P4, followed by Felipe Massa, Nico Hülkenberg, Jean-Eric Verne, Sergio Perez, Danny Kvyat, Kimi Raikkonen, and Jensen Button takes the fastest lap. Race 16 in Russia once again goes to Valtteri Bottas. The guy is an absolute animal in this track. Followed by Kevin Magnussen in P2 and Fernando Alonso in P3. Followed by Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, Sergio Perez, Felipe Massa, Nico Hülkenberg, Jean-Eric Verne, and Valtteri Bottas takes the point for the fastest lap. And in race 17 in America, we have Daniel Ricciardo taking first place, followed by Felipe Massa in P2 and Valtteri Bottas in P3. Following up the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel, Kevin Magnussen, the GOAT Pastor Maldonado, Jean-Eric Verne, Roman Grosjean, Jensen Button, and Sebastian Vettel takes the point for the fastest lap. Now we're going to move on to the penultimate race of 2014. And in the penultimate race of 2014 in Brazil, Felipe Massa wins his home Grand Prix. You absolutely love to see it. I'm sure the crowd was absolutely buzzing during this time, with Jensen Button finishing in P2 and Sebastian Vettel finishing in P3. Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, Nico Hülkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, Danny Kvyat, the GOAT pass to Maldonado, and Nico Hülkenberg ends up taking the fastest lap. And now we're going to move on to the final race of 2014. And in the final race of 2014, Felipe Massa actually makes it back-to-back -back victories for Williams, which is something he really didn't think was going to happen. And also, Valtteri Bottas finishes in P2, making it a Williams 1-2, which is very surprising. Daniel Ricciardo finishes in P3, followed by Jensen Button, Nico Hülkenberg, Sergio Perez, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Daniel Ricciardo takes the fastest lap. So guys... I've done all the math here. I want you guys right now to go in the comments and type who do you think is going to be the one to win the, the Drivers' Championship and win the Constructors' Championship. I know who it is. I'm sure most of you guys know who it is if you've been following along with this video. So 
put it in the comments right now who you think actually wins the championship and we're gonna move on to see the final stats and at the end of 2014 daniel ricardo becomes a one-time world champion for red bull taking 305 points on the year followed by valtteri bottas in p2 sebastian vettel in p3 with 246 so bottas actually outperformed sebastian vettel in the red bull Fernando Alonso finishes P4 with Massa in P5, Jensen Button P6, Nico Hulkenberg in P7, Kimi Räikkönen P8 tied with Sergio Perez in P9, and Kevin Magnussen in P10. And in the Constructors' Championships in P1, we have Red Bull, Williams in P2, Ferrari P3, McLaren P4, Force India P5, this is Toro Rosso in P6. I I did SRT, I meant to do STR. Lotus in P7, Marussia actually finished in P8, Sauber finished P9, and Caterham finished in P10. I believe there was one more team in this season, I'm not really too sure, but guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you wanna see more redos of a season without Mercedes, because they clearly ruined Formula One from 2014 to 2020, let me know, because uh, I'm a biased Ferrari fan and I wanna see anyone else but Mercedes win. So with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, share with all your friends. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed, and have a good one, guys.